After unboxing the printer, the first step is to assemble the chain together. The chain should curl in this direction after it has been assembled. We will now feed the belt through the rail. Make sure that the teeth on the belt mesh with the pulley on top. It is very important that these plastic bushings are in place and do not get pushed out of their sockets once the rail is inserted. Gently insert the rail and make sure that the plastic bushings are still in place. Make sure that the belt is not twisted inside of the Z-Rail. Gently pry up the belt keeper and insert the other end of the belt so that the screw hole lines up. Once in place, secure the belt with a screw from our parts box. Continue to gently pull the rail through the bushings to prepare the rail for inserting into the base can. Secure the top part of the chain to the back side of the rail at the indicated marks. If this part is over tightened, the plastic will crack. Please be gentle. Do the same process for the bottom part of the chain. If it has been attached for shipping purposes, take the main gearbox off of the printer. While not required, taking a rope or string to hold the prox arm up can greatly assist with the ease of assembling of the printer. We will now insert the Z-Rail into the base of the machine. Ensure that the Z-Rail does not go down too far and that there will be enough room to insert the Z gearbox. Here we are temporarily tightening two of the screws on the back to insert the gearbox. After pushing the belt all the way down, there should be enough room inside to insert the Z gearbox. Ensure that the belt is going around the pulley on the gearbox and that the pulley did not just push the belt out of the way. Once in place, secure the gearbox. We will now use the same rail nut for the chain to tighten the Z belt. Start by undoing the screws that secure the chain. Using the same screws, attach the Z tightening tool to the back of the Z rail. Make sure that it is about one inch above the base can. Make sure that these screws are tight. Make sure you use the included protector to not damage the paint. This may be a piece of wood or a small square piece of plastic. If tightened before, loosen the screws on the back of the machine. 
Do not take them out all the way. Just make them loose enough to move the rail up and down. We will now use the belt tightener to increase the tension on the Z-belt. Under pressure, the belt should be relatively tight. It should be able to flex about a quarter of an inch in each direction. Once the belt is tightened, tighten all of the screws on the back of the machine. You can now loosen the belt tightener and remove it, and place the chain holder back in place. Do not over tighten these screws for the chain holder. Next, we will plug in the connectors for the Z motor. Make sure that it is seated in all of the way. Next is the main connector for the machine. It only inserts one way, so make sure that after it is inserted all of the way, you get a good click out of it. On the side of the Z rail, there is a square nut already in place. Take the Z probe sensor and attach it to this rail nut. For the default configuration, align the Z probe switch with the mark on the side of the rail. Feed the extruder wire through the distal arm and then attach it. We will first attach one screw and then do the rest. When putting on the Z gearbox cover, make sure that all of the wires are pushed inside. Slide it on from the rear and then push down. Take the extruder wires and feed them through the prox arm. The machine is now fully assembled.